Girl. What's good? We back. We back. <laughs> back like we never left. Y'all missed us? Y'all know y'all missed us. <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, uh, we know we haven't recorded a video in a long time. I know. It's been a really long time because y'all even know that video I uploaded the same first day. We have been shot that. Yeah. So that's been, been a long time. For two months now. Yesterday was my one month anniversary. Wow. Like she was saying, we shot that video a long time ago, so I've been working for two months at this point, and we just have been struggling to find time. Yeah, that's really the main problem. I think like we thought mornings were gonna be the time where we could shoot videos, but I like, yeah, I don't know. My I mornings have been, it. yeah, my mornings have been busy. Like I wake up and it's like I have stuff to do. The same yeah. time, so. We'll do like a morning routine, hopefully, when one, yeah. one of our days slow down a little bit. Yeah. So, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're gonna do better. We, and this weekend is a little, well, I don't know yet, but it seems like it's gonna be a little calmer. Yes. So hopefully we'll find time to make some videos. For I time. agree, because we're not traveling. Yeah. For one, like we've been traveling a lot. We had our housewarming, so we were like scrambling to get our apartment together. We're gonna do an furnished apartment video. We yeah. have like a few more pieces to get, so. We have material, we have content mm -hmm. lined up. We have the lookbook, we have the just apartment shoot it. We have the morning routine for a lawyer. We just gotta shoot it, we haven't found time. Like, Let's just give them a general update on life. Okay. So we've been busy, yeah. one. But for those who don't follow us on Instagram, I passed the New York bar. <laughs> <laughs> and, I text, uh, uh, what I do? Uh, oh, I pass the Texas bar. What I do? I was like, that, is that simple? You're just like, uh. Don't do that. I pass the Texas bar, so I'm getting sworn in in Texas next Monday. Mm hmm It's real quick with Texas. It's not like New York where I have to wait like months. I haven't even looked at the application yet, so. Yeah. Well, I looked at the application, but I haven't started really putting it in. I know. That's one thing you could do. You could show them that whole process, no? Oh yeah, I guess right. that could be a video. If y'all are interested in that application process, comment below if you want to see that. Yeah. Um, right. What else has been going on? We had our house warming last weekend. Super which was fun. great. Super fun. Insert clip here. <laughs> I can't insert that. It's not, it's not YouTube appropriate, but <laughs> we had a lot of fun. It was. It was. Um, Shout out to everyone who came out. Yeah. What else has been going on in our lives? Um, I feel like for me, it's been like adjusting to being an adult um, and getting this apartment together. Yeah, I've been like taking up my whole, yeah, I think it's beautiful too. But it's been taking up like so much time. I agree. And I agree. Then, furnishing. Is a lot. Like, yeah. This is what being an adult feels like. Take me back, ties. I I didn't know furniture was so expensive. Like no one warned me. It was good going out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Dana. And then Sam is I know. Sam is so bougie. So like that's she wanted all true. the nicest stuff. That's like, not true. We could just buy some of the stuff from any old furniture store. And she's like, no, we gotta okay, have that's the true. modern. Gotta have the modern look. So I was like, oh my God, my bank account, crying. Angel was trying to buy furniture and I sit on the chair and it breaks. That's not true. It's true. You can buy furniture that's not like state of the art, whatever, and it's not gonna break either. How you know? How you, if you Cause know. that's the furniture we've been using our whole lives. In college, I'm grown. Okay. I, we went to Ikea. We didn't buy anything from there. But we went. We went, that's it. <laughs> we see like, Ikea, you know what, people, People flex on Ikea. People because. flex on Ikea. Like, Ikea, one, it's expensive. I thought it was gonna be like some cheap furniture so the way people talk about it. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, it's an expensive store. And two, the furniture looks fine. I'm like, why everybody be talking about Ikea? Like yeah, that? like, oh, you're going to Ikea for college furniture? No, I thought Ikea furniture was pretty nice. Yeah, I thought it was too. Maybe we just not there. We don't yet. have a refined taste. Yeah, yeah it's not a refined taste. I thought like those furniture. couches look good. It was just not our, not what we're looking for. Okay. What else has been an update? What's going on with What's been an update? Uh, Work. Work. Work, 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 work. That reminds me of Slave Play. We wanted to go see Slave Play. We did see Slave Play. On Broadway. I thought it was good. Yeah. It was a little intense though. It's intense and people have either hate it or love it, I feel like. I don't know anyone who hated it. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I've seen on, I don't know anyone in person, but online. Actually, some of the girls you went with, they didn't like Google it. Google or something. No, the girls online, the girls you went with didn't like it. What else is new in life? Period. Period. Cool. Um, you have some trips coming up. I do have some trips coming up, right? Uh, I'm looking forward to these trips that I have coming up. So, uh, what is it? What's coming up? So for Thanksgiving, I'm going to Jamaica. That should be real fun. Ah, it's And then December, I'm going to Houston. 
Are you coming? Yeah, I told him to send. He said buy my ticket. Okay. You don't believe me? Just like last time? <laughs> I don't believe you if I see a flight. I'm going for your mom, not you though. That's so. fine. No, mom, I'll see you soon. I have a bunch of DC trips coming up. And then in January, I'm gonna do my birthday trip. I don't know where I wanna go yet though. Comment places that you think I should go below. So I wanna go to an island. I've been to Turks and Caicos, or Turks and Caicos. I've been to Jamaica. And I'm going to Jamaica again, so don't comment Jamaica. I've been to the Bahamas and... You've been everywhere. You've been to Puerto Rico. I've been to Puerto Rico. St. Kitt. I've been to Haiti. Mexico. So where have you not been? That's probably easier. It's not easier. There's tons of islands I haven't been. And you'll see when people comment. Go to this island, that island. I haven't been to the Bahamas or Trinidad. Just I mean, Bahamas. Barbados or Trinidad. That's it. That's not it. And then I'm going to Miami in January. Like, For yeah. work, right? <laughs> Go to she the yams. A, she has a work trip. Fun conference in the yams. So, <laughs> took him to the yams. Took him to the yams. Oh, we went to Philly too. Sorry, yeah. this update's all over the place. We went to Philly for a conference. Uh, three weeks ago now? Yeah, CYFC it was charting your own course. I thought it was very helpful. I didn't actually attend the conference, but I was just in Philly chilling. <laughs> but I got all the secondhand information from Sam and it seemed like really, Seemed like a really helpful trip or helpful conference. So updates on your life. What are you doing? Um, next weekend's my birthday, so probably gonna be 26 is showing. Don't do that. Because you're about to be 26 a month later. I'm not. A month and a half later. Oh, uh, wait, I know what's uh, A month and a half later. 26 is showing. 26 is oh. showing. Comment if you think my 26 is showing. I don't think so. They gotta be like, no, we can't like so. you. I don't think You're so. Your 26 is showing. Actually, I'll be honestly, actually, 26 is not old. So if my 26 is showing, that's fine. That 26 isn't old. There's a lot of people that didn't make it to 26. You know, so it's a blessing. But anyway, my birthday's next weekend and I haven't had time to plan anything. So hopefully I have time to like plan something this weekend. Um, and which is, if you know me, that's like very abnormal. Like I usually do like something crazy really big, but I think I'm just doing something chill this year. Um, and then after that, my mom's coming for Thanksgiving so we can go to the Macy's Parade. She watches it on TV every single year. So we're just gonna go in person. Um, what else is happening? And then, oh, I'm going to Austin <laughs> right after my birthday for the Sumerian ceremony. And then I'm going to Houston for Christmas and I'll try to make it to this girl's birthday trip. You're not invited. Oh, I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff coming up. I'm going to Vegas in December. Mm -hmm. So yeah. How are you doing all this travel and work? What are you doing all the work? Weekend trips. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, like we don't get that many vacation days for the rest of the year. It's prorated. So for Austin, I had to take the day off because it's a Monday. Um, for Vegas, I didn't take any time off. It's just only the weekend. Like I'm really catching a red eye Sunday night into Monday so I can make it to work. With Christmas, um, I took off like four days for that. I only have five days for the year. So I took off four days for Christmas. Um, and then Christmas day actually have off and then weekend before and after. So it ends up being like a nine day trip-ish. So yeah, that's how I'm doing it. And then next year, I got a whole new set of days. <laughs> gonna you know people like save days to roll over i don't envision that I'll ever is that a thing yeah for our firm it's a thing you can like roll over i don't think i'll ever roll over just because like i want to visit home often it's so, like i'm gonna be have to take vacation days for that and i want to travel so i mean we'll see we'll see how busy work gets but i doubt i'm ever gonna be a person that like has enough days to roll over because like i want to it's just also because i live so far from home it's like that's automatically days built in where like i'm gonna go home for holidays and stuff like that mm -hmm. so those like automatically like two or three trips a year. So yeah. Someone asked us, how does it feel to finally achieve your dreams and be rich and successful? Well, one, I don't even. I don't feel rich. rich. I don't feel rich. At all. <laughs> I don't feel rich at all. But I guess like you know, according to standards and figures that people make, we are in a whole different uh, ballpark now. But yeah. I don't feel rich at all. Uh, but I think it's also just because we have so much, well I, let me speak for myself, I have so much short term debt that I'm still paying off before I even get to the long term debt, which starts in what, T minus two weeks for me, wow. because I gotta start paying student loans. I'm not looking forward to that. But I decided that I'm gonna be super aggressive when it comes to my student loans and pay them off as fast as possible or as aggressively as possible. Your phone's ready. Don't let me take my stuff off. Well, we'll wait for Angel to come back and finish up this video. I could kind of have a little sneak peek of my apartment. Look, ah, couch lady. Um, so how's the photo be rich and successful? That's the question. 
or achieve our dreams or whatever. Both of them. Someone asked me recently, um, how's it feel? I'm like, I haven't like sat down and just like reflected on it yet. Just like the whole journey of the past like three and a half years. Um, but I don't really know. Like I don't feel like I don't feel rich because like what Sam said. Like I have so many expenses and loan payments and taxes and like taxes. <laughs> all that kind of like and then you get to start I don't know I've never had a full-time job so it's like now I gotta worry about health care and paying that every month and paying for transportation every month and paying all these things so I feel like because of all of my expenses and like just life and loans I feel like if I didn't have loans I'd feel rich right now definitely but because, definitely. <laughs> because we have so many loans I haven't and I feel like I haven't drastically changed my lifestyle I don't how are you just in adulthood real quick how am I adjusting to adulthood? I'm a child. So you're not adjusting? No. She still goes home and get her hair done. <laughs> mom, can you put my hair in a bun for me? I'm like, bro, this is ridiculous. My mom is a cosmetologist. Like, y'all act like I'm just going to my mom sitting on the floor getting my cornrows done. <laughs> like, Sam, I'm going home. to her shop multiple times a week to get put her hair put in a bun. No, it's not true. <laughs> That's not true. I ain't lagging. That's I not true. Home like three times since we moved here to get my hair done. Okay. Um, anyway. Anyway, so I feel like it's a, it's actually it's not that bad, but it's just a lot of expensive. Bills are bad. Bills are bad. Why do I have to pay for Wi-Fi now? I pay for Wi-Fi, electricity. I be turning off all the lights behind Sam. I'm like, bro. <laughs> but I really gotta go to work, so we gotta wrap this up. Um, but that's our life updates. What you check in? The time? Uh, it's 8.37. Yeah. yeah. That's our life updates. It's been hard adjusting because of all the work and stuff like that. But we are going to start shooting more videos. So. We are. I promise. Don't give up on us. <laughs> My dad called us out on it. So Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to everybody I've met. I've met like some of our, I don't know, I think oh, yeah, I've met some of our subscribers like out and about and like at diversity events, law school events. Howard Homecoming. We met a lot of people. Yeah. I went to an NYU diversity event and met a couple people. I met people at Columbia's uh, resume workshop. Yeah. I did that. They're like, ah, I know you from YouTube. Yeah, it's like, ah, gang, gang. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, keep reaching out and stuff like that. We promise we'll be more consistent. And yeah. hope y'all enjoy the videos moving forward. All right. So if you like this video, like, comment, Oh, wait. Subscribe. And we're rolling out a new series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry, look out for that. The series is basically going to be short videos, like five minutes max. We're going to just give you guys different law facts that we feel like people want to know about yeah. um, and just are helpful to your everyday life, whether it's through contract law, criminal law, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. So look out for that coming soon. All right. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, and watch, watch out for more videos. Peace.